hello guys welcome to another informative video by promise breno so today we're going to talk about jobs in lithuania with relocation package okay when i talk about relocation package i mean if you apply to this sort of jobs and you get accepted the company will provide you with the necessary documents you need to move to lithuania and in some cases this sort of jobs even go further to reimburse the cost of your movement to europe for those who do not know, Lithuania is a country in Europe and is a member state of the Schengen region. Basically, if you are in Lithuania, you can go to other European countries or EU countries without a visa. Considering the fact that these sort of jobs are not easy to come by these days, if you've been looking for jobs that would provide you the necessary documents, help you to process your work permit and to move to Europe or reimburse the cost of your movement, this is a video that you must watch. So if you're excited about this video that I'm going to be sharing, please give me a thumb up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I have other videos on opportunities on my channel and I'm going to be dropping more and more. So subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my content so that you'll be one of the first people to be notified whenever I drop content. And also if you're a returning viewer, I want to thank you so much for spicing my channel. And I hope to see you more and more. So keep watching and pay close attention as I walk you through these jobs on their website. This is where you can find these jobs. And as you can see, there are about 400 plus open positions. When I checked earlier today, it was around 300 plus open positions. So you must hasten to apply to these jobs. But before applying to these jobs, please pay keen attention as I explain the uh, relocation uh, strategy or criteria you need to meet, okay? Now, um, if you are a non-EU national, okay, there is relocation package for you. So far, you qualify for these jobs or for so far, you qualify for any of the jobs advertised, okay? Now, for highly qualified specialists from uh, outside the EU, when I say outside the EU, I mean those from us from Africa, from Asia, from South America, from the Middle East, and so on. Okay. Also, there are even some countries in Europe that are not in the EU. For example, Ukraine, uh, Georgia, okay, and so on. Now, um, basically, if you're a highly qualified specialist from outside the EU, uh, you can start working in Lithuania before your residence permit or EU blue card is. Issued. Now, there are a couple of steps here that I will, I will show you the procedures that typically applies in this case. That means if you are a highly qualified uh, specialist, maybe in the field of engineering, in the field of medicine, the field of IT, and so on. Okay. Now, if you're not a highly qualified specialist, I'm, I, I, will, I will explain about your case later. So that means you can also apply. Okay. But before then, let me talk about highly qualified specialists. Now, first of all, uh, the first step that you can do is to get a visa. Now, there are there are two kinds of visa you can use to come into the EU, EU countries or Schengen region countries. Uh, the first one is the Schengen visa and the second one is the national visa. Now, typically, you apply for the Schengen visa if you, uh, if you want to stay for up to 90 days. So the Schengen visa allows you to stay for up to 90 days within a 180 day period for tourism or business purposes, okay? So uh, Schengen visa is relati relatively quick and easy to get. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions for entry into the EU, um, into the EU may I apply. For more information, you can check here. Okay, now let me just explain briefly for you to understand. So um, that means that if you get um, any of these jobs as a highly qualified, any of the jobs in this place, as a highly qualified specialist from outside the EU, you can simply use your uh, job offer and apply for a Schengen visa from your country and come into Lithuania and you can start working before you start processing your EU blue card, which will take me to the next, um, 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 to the next step. But before I go to the next step, I want to uh, explain about the national visa. So essentially, if you intend to stay for more than 90 days within a 180 period, uh, a 180 day period, you might want to acquire a national visa, okay, which is valid for up to 12 months. Okay, so national visas are usually granted for foreign nationals who arrive to work or study in Lithuania. Okay, 
Do you understand? So this is how it works. So if you've gotten the job as a highly specialized, highly specialist or highly qualified specialist from a non-EU country, all right, then you can just simply apply to visa. You don't need to wait uh, till you get your EU blue card. Just apply for visa, either Schengen visa or national visa. Because they say Schengen visa is faster, so I would recommend that you apply for a Schengen visa and use it to come into Lithuania first. Then you will you will be able to start working even before your EU blue card is out. Now, when you now arrive into Lithuania, you can apply for your EU blue card. So the EU blue card is a residence permit that allows you to legally reside and work in Lithuania, bring your family with you. So it is essential that if you want to bring your family with you, maybe you want to bring your spouse or your sibling or anybody, then you should apply for the EU blue card. Now it is valid for up to three, three years and can be extended for up to three years. Okay, that means that after the first EU blue card, you can extend it again for another three years. Okay, and you will become eligible for permanent residence permit after residing in Lithuania for five years. Now, this is the same like in Poland. In Poland, where I live, if you reside in Poland for up to five years, you are eligible to apply for permanent residency. Okay, and which is a very good thing. So, um, for the highly qualified specialists, they can come into Lithuania before applying for this EU blue card, and they, and they can start working before that. If you want, you can also apply from your country before coming in, but it's a, it's a no-brainer that you just come in into Lithuania with a Schengen visa before you apply for this one, okay? Um, I don't know if you understand. If you have any question, you can uh, ask me, and also you can also, I will show you where you can contact them, okay? And uh, you can also ask them questions. Now, you may apply for an EU blue card online via Migris, so in this place. Let me open it here. You can apply in this place. Okay, why it's uh, loading? Let me. Uh, so the card is issued in one month via the accelerated, accelerated procedure in twelve months via the regular procedure, and cost two hundred and forty euros or one twenty euros respectively. So if it's if you use the first one via accelerated procedure, the cost is two forty. That means you're using Express. You pay two forty. Um, you pay two forty euros per month. If you're using Express, you want it to be processed very fast. But if you're using the normal way, you pay 120 euros, okay? Then uh, you can read more about it here, all right? You can read more about it here, and, and also you can contact them. I'm sure there should be contact details. For this one, we can translate it to uh, English, okay? And one thing I didn't tell you about these sort of jobs is that um, I believe that there are a lot of uh, jobs for English speakers. So even if you don't have knowledge of Lithuanian, you should be able to thrive in these job offers, okay? All right, now let's move to the next phase, which is after getting an EU blue card. So after submitting your, your application, you should book an appointment at the, at the migration department uh, to proceed to provide your document and biometric data, all right? So that means after you've done the above processes, uh, you've applied for an EU blue card, you can... Um, you can, uh, that means after getting an EU blue card, you can uh, kind of uh, book for an appointment, okay, at the migration department. So if you are applying from abroad, you may opt for virtual visit, okay, you may opt for virtual visit. A virtual visit allows the migration, the migration department to examine your blue card application and issue an interim decision. When you receive an interim uh, decision that your application was successful, you can apply for national visa online via this place all right so you can read more about uh, these things because i i, I want to show you the job offers i don't want to waste much of your time all right so but the thing is that if you're not in 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 Lithuania currently and you are you applied for this eu card so um you can uh, that is after submitting your application you can do these things online you can book and uh, meet with them online now this is for a situation whereby you are not a highly qualified specialist so if you're not uh, a highly qualified specialist, then you can um, you can move to Lithuania, like you can apply for visa and move to Lithuania. But then remember that you cannot work unless your EU blue card is issued or your residence permit has been issued, okay? So in case you don't qualify as a highly qualified specialist, there are two main ways to obtain a residence permit. The first way is, is that you can get an offer for a job in Lithuania and apply for 
a permit while still residing abroad. Okay, that's the first way. Or uh, while before you move into Lithuania, after you've gotten your work uh, job offer, um, I believe that these companies before because we talked about a relocation package, they offer a relocation package, so they should help you to apply. Okay, for you over there, they will ask you for some information, maybe your criminal record uh, certificate and other information. Then you should be able to apply yourself. As you can see, you can do some of this things online. Also, you can do it online yourself. Okay. Then the second way is that you can come to Lithuania and apply for a residence or and apply for a permit here. But remember that you will not be able to start working until you have received your residence permit. Okay. Now, depending on the type of permit you apply for, it might take from three weeks to four months to obtain it. You can read more about them in this place or third countries. They call us, they call those uh, from the non-EU countries like in Africa, Asia, they call them, they call us non, they call us uh, third country nationals. Okay, and um, once in Lithuania, don't forget to declare your place of residence. You can read more about it. So what, let's say, for example, if you arrive in Lithuania, you must declare your place of residence. Let's say you've gotten it before arriving to Lithuania. When you arrive in Lithuania, you must uh, send um, your address, the name of your address. Like uh, you can go to um, in Poland, there's a particular office you go to, and you you know you tell them your address, show them your contract. First of all, get a contract from your uh, landlord or landlady. So you go with you go to them and show them, and they will give you a document, okay, to show as a proof of your residence. Now, this document in Poland, you can use it to obtain your driver's license uh, when you're applying for your driver's license. And also, I think when you're applying for your residence permit, you can also, you need to show it to the immigration. You need to give it to the immigration. So um, when, you, when you reach uh, Lithuania, after getting this document, you can send it to the immigration so that they will know where you are living. This, was, this, this will also help the tax office as well. You also need to declare this, you, you know, uh, because of tax. You know, because the tax office needs to know your address as well. Um, you can read this for yourself uh, without wasting your time. This place, as I told you, oh, you can also read this for yourself, more about the blue card and stuff. And can I bring your, like, the frequently asked questions. Now, let's come back to the jobs. Uh, let's look at the job offers. There are about 400 plus job offers. Now, there are different uh, kind of job offers. Now, it depends on the category you want to um you want to check about you want to check for so you can see that those ones that are specialist kind of jobs you can see that they wrote here specialist specialist okay so um i don't know where uh your department but you can check here so any of the boxes you check and search will kind of uh, determine the jobs that will come out here so let's say for example we want to check on the area of manufacturing and engineering you can see that it has changed right it has changed Likewise, the same way in sales and marketing, same, you can see the job offers. Okay, You just need to look out for what, um, you need to search for what you're looking for and apply for them. So as you can see, this one is not for specialists. This one, for this particular kind of jobs, um, even if you get your visa and come into Lithuania, you still have to uh, wait until your EU blue card or residence permit is out. Okay? Um, yeah, you can check out these things for yourself, depending on what you want, full-time, part-time, freelance, internship, what language um, kind of jobs are you looking for? If you type English, let's say you click English to bring out the jobs for English, and, uh, which I think most of the jobs here are English because it's for like non-EU nationals. Then if you want a remote job, you can also click here. You can see remote jobs. And um, let's say, um, the city where you want to work, because these are cities in Lithuania, uh, Vilnius, Kaunas, uh, Klaipeda. If you want a full-time job, you can click here as well. Then, um, so let me give you, a, let me show you an example of what, let's say I want to apply to a particular job. There was one I was, I checked out earlier. Uh, let's say I want to apply to, okay, let's say this one. This particular one, uh, quality assurance specialist. Now you can see this is uh, a junior specialist. Uh, so you just have to uh, view this job. Um, if I click it, it, will, it can open here, but I want to um, right click and open it in a new window. Okay, so you can see, you can read the job description here. 
and see if you qualify for this job. If you qualify, you simply, uh, you can see that here the language is C1. Uh, the salary here is 2,000 euros uh, gross per month. That is before tax. And um, you can click here if you want to apply for this job offer. But then uh, you need to sign up, okay? Uh, because I don't have an account yet, you just have to come here and sign up, okay? So you can register as a candidate or a company. Um, I would recommend you register as a candidate. Then you can sign up with your Facebook or with your LinkedIn profile, or you can simply type in manually, then put your country of residence and so on, okay? I'm not gonna go further. After registering, you just need to come here and click here and go to apply, go to apply, and you'll be able to access where you can apply for these job offers, okay? Uh, if you have any question, feel free to put in the comment section or you can simply uh, contact them. I believe they should have a contact, they should have contact details, uh, contact us, come here. And um, you can contact them about your questions, okay? If you have any question related to either the job offers or or the immigration procedure or the relocation package, you can contact them, yes. Put your name, your email address and type the questions here. All right, um, as I said earlier, I have other informative videos on my channel, uh, jobs in Poland that you can use to relocate to Poland without visa sponsorship. Also free schools in Poland, like at a particular university, I made videos on that. And um, um, vocational programs you can use to move to Germany, you can use to move to Finland, Estonia, and so on. There are a couple of videos, also business, videos about business opportunity, um, a particular system of business, you know. Um, so just uh, take, uh, take your time and go over to my YouTube channel and check them out. And also, please subscribe to this channel um, because I'm not gonna, we are not going to let you down. Like There are so many opportunities that you, you can learn a lot on this channel. Okay, and uh, hit the like, hit the like button if you enjoy this content, and also don't forget to smash the, the bell button so that you'll be notified. You'll be one of the first people to one of the first people to be notified whenever I drop content. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till I come your way again, have a great time. See you in my next video.